G'day, today on the Action Shed we're working again on the 75 Daihatsu F10. Got a few more parts to throw at it now. So we'll get into it. Uh, we're going to put some Daihatsu back in the Daihatsu. We've got a bit to go, a few other odds and sods. So, flown underneath the truck the other day, notice one of the front units is cooked. So we'll attack that first. Um, and then, we'll probably have a go at these really holy floors. I've got this pretty gnarly um, spot weld drill. Have a look, it sort of looks like a bit of a rotor brooch. Placeable tips and that pin retracts. It's got a spring in it, so it gets out of the way. And if all else fails, it comes with an actual normal spot weld drill. Um, so we might have a go at that. I tried me little water jet sandblaster, and it's a piece of shit. Um, it first wouldn't feed sand, so I flipped it upside down and turned it from a Venturi effect to a gravity feed. Um, and then there was so much pressure on it, it blew the entire handpiece apart. So, I'm just going to wire brush and hope for the best. Most of the floor's pretty rusty, so I might just be able to culture the most of it out and just clean it up when I go to put more floor in. But to pull the floors out, all the body mounts are under it, so I'm going to have to put it back on its wheels and jack stand the body level, and then we'll start um, pulling floors. But first things first, We'll get this tail shaft out, throw another uni in it, grease her all up, and uh, we'll go from there, eh? Out punching this uni out, it's uh, really rusted in there, so all we can do is try, eh? Wow, it's actually moving. <laughs> Fuck. me down. It actually wants to do something. Surprising. Very surprising. Boy, Addy, there is not much left of that. Not much at all. I swear I had a socket I used. Usually used to push these out. Could be them. Yep, that's it. She wants it. She wants it. Come on now, balance up. Then I get the super fun job of trying to clean all the shit out of the balls on this. So I'm sure they're going to suck, but you can't put them all away. Mm. But uh, we'll, uh, we'll catch back with you. 
Alrighty, well that was a fucking pain in the ass, I can tell you. So I've got a new uh, uni joint. It's a different style to the one that was in it. I'm hoping it still works. So this one uses internal sir clips, and the one that was in it used external sir clips. So we're just going to suck it and see. Still made in Japan, so that's alright. All we can do is try, eh? Come on now. Oh, delicious. Delicious. Where's my soft hammer? Oh, there's the dead plate. Maybe. No, I want to have that in there when I fucking hit it. So I'm shaking the boulders out. I was thinking when I was uh, first got this thing and started piecing it together, thought all the shit I could hang of uh, fixed slash worked on, I could like repaint, so then you could see what I played with. But then I thought might look a bit rowdy um, going to get a blue slip and like half the underbelly of the cast painted and the rest is it. So I shied away from that idea. Try one of these internal spare clips now. It's a big question mark. And I sort of destroyed the external spare clips getting them out because they were a mess, they were like rusted in there. So uh, I prefer not to have to reuse them, but if I have to, I have to, eh? I think I'm gonna have to. Son of a bitch. Fuck, now I gotta get that out. Righto. So I'm gonna have to use the uh, original external circlip grooves. But I'm just gonna use the internal circlips, pop them in there. Uh, that's gonna be a future Chris's issue to fix. Um, not mine. But the amount of driving this thing's probably going to do, that's no doubt going to last the life of it, the vehicle, so, yeah. Horses for courses and all that, eh? Oh, that really just wants to go in not square, eh? Right. We will try the other one. Can't wait for this to slip and just shear that grease nipple off.
Good enough. Good enough. Okay, that's that. Rowdy, but it's there. So, grease her up, throw it back in. We'll see you back out at the truck. had a bit of a go over in this corner as you can see there's a large hole although well, you probably can't see because it was already a fairly large hole um, there isn't actually much to drill out to tell you the truth so I've just been zipping along with the old cold chisel and uh, a gasket knife um, yeah there used to be I think there might have been a brace that run through here that now doesn't exist anymore. Maybe. I'll have to have a look at my other F10 to double check. Might get a photo of the bracing under the floor and make sure I've got all of it. So I might have to remake some of these because that one's got a pretty big hole inside of it. That one's thin as all buggery. And that's like the saddle for the body mounts. The body mounts are actually here and here. So it might just be might be a bit more than just the floor pan change unfortunately because he's pretty bad but you know I know someone with a brake press and it's not a very complicated shape to fold up that's just once the floor's out it's out and then you can access whatever you want so I keep nibbling my way along here with the coley and see what we can see this piece here probably looks a bit funny they've actually got two models of F10 we never got the other one we got an F10 and an F10L, so all the F10s in Australia are F10Ls. L for long, there's actually a seam just behind this rear wheel tub, and the long is the fact that it's got that in it. The L, this portion of floor is missing, and that corner's there, so it's just short wheelbase, quite unquote. They didn't actually change any of the wheelbase or anything, it's literally just a skin and tub modification. So yeah, they put this little piece in here, put a piece in the floor there. And that's it, you've got yourself an F10L. Um, as far as I know, they made F10s and F10Ls at the same time from 74 up. Um, I've only ever seen them in Europe. I did have a bit of a rush to the shit to the brain when I first got this. I'm like, you know what I could do? I could turn it into an F10 short and just cut the arse off it and then push it up because it's already missing the floor and everything anyway. But uh, that's like way too much effort. The, um, the chassis rail is actually longer at the back here, so I'd have to cut these bracing, the bracing out and then push it all forward because the spring hangers on the F10 shorts actually hang out the arse end of the truck. So, fuck day, we just put floor in it and run it as it is. But it would be pretty cool if it was the shore wheel But it'll be right, it'll be pretty cool as it is anyway. never had a wash ever there's mud everywhere Ah, it's 
success. Boy, oh, howdy. That sucked. Well. Oh. Alrighty, we've got a bit of the floor out. It's taking a lot longer than I thought, but you get that, eh? But like, look, look at this. That's in one of the main supports under the floor. Just full. No wonder she's rusty. Yeah. Um, we'll keep pressing on, and then uh, we'll get all the back out and attack the front, I suppose. They're going to be a bit of a pain. There's like spot welds all the way around the outside. Then there's a uh, chassis leg rib that runs through the middle there that's got the body mount in it. So that'll be difficult. But we'll see how we go. Now that's the back end taken care of, we're going to start on the front. Now I was thinking about sectioning it through here and then putting a piece in there but then like what, you're saving 50mm of surface rust covered shit anyway. So just spot welded along here and along there and there was probably some in there underneath as well before it got rusty. We'll just zip it all out, I'll do the whole bloody floor pan out of flat. Um, there's a bit of rust repair to do the bot to the bottom of the gearbox tunnel, just sort of here. It's worse on the driver's side, and obviously there's some to do there, but that's flat, so that won't be hard. And the driver's side doesn't have that at all, so it'll be right. Shit thing about the driver's side is all the pedals are there, so I probably have to pull the pedal box out of it. I've got to pull the column cover off anyway. The fucking previous owner decided to smash, attempt to smash the steering lock out of it and just made a mess of all of it. So I've got a whole other column cover there. So I might just pull the column cover off, pedal box out, throttle pedal off, and then just pull the entire floor pan out. Because there's not much left of them anyway, really. Uh, this is the nifty little um, spot weld dry. We'll rifle into her and see how she goes, eh? I've used it on my brother's car, it actually works pretty mad got to make sure you center pop first otherwise if it wanders it chips the teeth off but you get enough spare tips so you can have a practice I've already broken this one Oof, so 
that, panel sprung off. That's as far as you need to go, really. Go any deeper, you're just drilling a new pair of metal. Come on now. This one's going to be a bit tricky because the actual, it's a triple lap joint for the floor brace as well. Down here, it runs up to here and there's a body mount on the other side of the firewall. Um, so that one, these three across here, or four even, I might just peck out and I might have to flex it with a screwdriver or something just to make sure I'm all the way through. I don't want to go punching a massive hole through the firewall for no reason. Okay, this mightn't be too bad. Come on. Good. That's pretty good. There's no doubt another spot well in the corner, but I'll come back to that. It's hard to get a good whack on it, unfortunately. That'll get it. clamps and that I'm gonna to have to undo on the other side so uh, I'll have a go of that and we'll catch back up with you in a second all righty that's that come to daddy Woohoo! geez I really like that spot little drill eh? just does a really neat job neat job but at least this brace isn't all rooted like the rear ones now I've got to try and get this part out, which is going to be an effort because I can't even see the spot welds under it. So I might have to, well I'd hit it with my sawzall but I broke it doing the rear floor, so I don't know. I might have to go old school and hit with tin snips. Um, maybe the grinder where I can reach and tin snips the rest. So I'm just sort of making this up as I go. Uh, Righty -o. Um that's the passenger side floor taken out. Obviously this part here I'm gonna have to rebuild. It's also got along the bottom part of this. Um, so I'll probably just cut 50 mil up around. It's just like a 90 degree ledge. Stitch that on, job done, drop a new pan in. We'll be good to go as you can see. This also suffers from the dirt in everything. So uh, We'll probably finish the video up there today. I'm going to bust out the pressure washer and blow all this stuff out. I haven't touched the driver's side yet. I'll do that off camera because that's going to be an effort. Um, so next video we we'll, might be tackling the rush repair on the inside of this inner sill because it's actually worse than I thought. I might have to do a fair bit there. Could be 
putting floor pans in it uh, or recreating those bracings at the back if they need to get recreated once I knock a bit of rust off them. So yeah, these guys keep the rubber side down, eh? Fucking purse this time, eh? And on uh, today's episode of Adam and the Crack Shack and cars that never get finished, yeah, we put shiny stuff in the bucket of shit. Oh wait, all real YouTubers do one of these, right? There you go, bud. Thumbnail. Yeah. Fuck you.